Hooey, it smells like skunk out here. And I've been away for, well, around a week and a half. Vacation. These things have only gotten sprinkler water. I had to uh, do it that way because I had a little problem with uh, my watering drip system. So I didn't want to underwater, so I figured I would do shit. These things got like three or four hours a day. Just sprinkler. So it might be a little too much on the sprinkling, but they're looking good. And we're dealing with absolute freaking towers here. Pushed out towers. See, now these are the plants that grew in the ice and snow. They sprouted wild. February, late, uh, early and late February, uh, late uh, January. I actually have a video of some of them sprouted, but the majority, it was early February. But as you see, we have um, at the tops, that's how you want to grow for like the tower grow, which we're just going straight up and this shit's just gonna keep pushing out. There's actually been no topping, no training done to any of these plants. Here's another view, and uh, we're dealing with full growth in that pyramid. We're gonna have crazy growth. And as you see, even like up on there, as they grow on the top, it should be bushing out like nuts. Crazy bushing is what you should see. Here's a closer look of some of that bushing. And uh, I'm not gonna top. As long as it's doing that, it's just gonna keep going up and bushing up. These plants are in need of some CalMag. Others are getting beat up by the wind. Looks like that one, some leaves snapped on it. They could use some nitrogen a little, I can tell. They get into that hungry phase. Absolutely huge. These things are gonna be well beyond my uh, pyramid which is a bit scary. We got an awesome season ahead of us. This might be a little glary, I'm not sure, but check out the wind that they go through today. Pretty crazy wind, no cage, or anything like that. Some of these ones I'm gonna be bending down and thinning out, obviously. I like to let it grow tight like this. You know, A, because, you know, it's wild weed, it just grows where it grows. It pops where it sprouts out, and two, I can protect it easier. I can put my netting on it and you'll see that netting. Subscribe, you'll see it all. And uh, that protects it from the insane moth infestation I've got going on just in this woods area. But I'll show how I keep them at bay. Trichogramma, predator wasps are key, but this is uh, extremely important right here. We got bug zapper. It'll eliminate tons of moths. Clean it out every freaking day and it'll fill up like this. My beautiful fish getting all excited because they hear me out here. Darting and swimming around. Chilling with the uh, swimming pool full of uh, koi fish here. I'm gonna be finishing this video out showing you some of these beautifuls, but look at them go flying around, playing in that waterfall.